That flood watch that you are talking about is what officials are worried about for later this afternoon. Now, right now, things are looking a lot better than they did earlier this morning and especially from yesterday. You can see now we can actually see the roadway here. That was not the case earlier. And with the rain that we're expecting later this afternoon, officials say they're keeping their eyes on this situation to make sure what happened earlier in the week doesn't repeat later today. Residents in Saga Bay feeling a lot better today after waking up to fewer flooded roads in their neighborhood. Oh yeah, today's much better. The lake over there is a little, a little bit lower. A major difference from yesterday when this was the case. Water creeping onto lawns after Saga Bay overflowed a second time, spilling tens of thousands of gallons of water into the surrounding neighborhood. You'll be able to see where the lake connects to the road itself. There's no separation. This park next to the lake turning into an outdoor pool yesterday after water breached the lake's banks. The town's mayor relieved to see progress today. Well, we're in a much better position today. Obviously, the streets are dry in most places. There's still a bit more work to do, and, and we always have that anticipation in case some more storms come. According to officials with the town of Cutler Bay, this area has received more than 15 inches of rain since Saturday and nearly nine inches of rain within a 24 hour period. And yesterday, another Another half an inch fell here. To help move some of the water out, Cutler Bay's Public Works Department installed five pumps in areas most affected. And we're standing next to one of five pumps that have been installed throughout the town of Cutler Bay. They just refueled this one to help clear out some of the water on the roadways. You can see it's doing its job pretty well. But then check this out here. There's been so much water out here. There are crabs walking around all over the place, even on top of a fence here. We're going to continue to prepare. We're going to ask some experts what else we can do to get the water out of the low-lying areas like this a little bit, a lot faster. Yesterday, local officials, including Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, toured the hardest-hit areas of Saga Bay to assess what steps will be taken for the next bout of bad weather. This is very scary and sobering. Fortunately, these homes were built higher after Hurricane Andrew. And together, those pumps are sending out 17,000 gallons of water per minute from this area. That water will be dumped in a nearby mangrove that flows into Biscayne Bay. In the meantime, officials are warning drivers just to be careful. The roads are still soggy. So if you're going through these areas where the roads are still flooded, they're just urging drivers to take precaution because especially in this community, some of the asphalt has uh, started to shift a bit from all of the water. So there are potholes that weren't there before that are here now in some places. So just be careful as you make your way through these wet roads. We're live in Cutler Bay. I'm Deborah Subarain, CBS 4 News.